Rasulullah didn't have a big room, 8 meters by 10 meters, with an ensuite and so on and so forth. Rasulullah had a very small room. So much so that when Umar anhu entered once, he was smiling and then suddenly he started to cry. The Rasulullah said, what's making you cry? And he said, Ya Rasulullah, I looked around your house and I found a small window. There was a little lantern and there was no fuel in it even. I looked at the wall and you had some barley that was still coarse, not looked after. I looked at your bed and all I see is a little one layer mattress, one layer of straw. I could see Ya Rasulullah, the marks on the side of your body. And I looked at your pillow and your pillow was filled with coarse material. Wallahi, I can see scratches on your beloved face from it. The emperors of Kisra and Qaisar are eating the most exquisite meals, reclining on the most silkiest of beds and wearing the most silkiest of clothes. Wa anta ya Rasulullah fi hadha. You are like this, the best of creation. Rasulullah stood up and came close to Umar radiallahu anhu and wiped his tears. That's what he used to do. He used to touch the face and wipe the tears of people. And he said, Ya Umar, doesn't it please you enough that they will have this world and that's it and we will have the hereafter. And he said, Bala. رضيت يا رسول الله رضيت